India is getting ready with its Gaganyaan mission, where India hopes to send an Indian astronaut in space on an Indian rocket from Indian soil. I have with me Dr. A. Jagannath. He works with the Defence Food Research Laboratory in Mysore, part of the Defence Research and Development Organisation, and we are speaking at the Indian Science Congress. Uh, Dr. Jagannath, what is DFRL doing for preparations for India's Gaganyaan mission, where an astronaut has to be kept alive in almost zero gravity? Uh, the technological challenges involved in uh, actually making food for our astronauts is very well realized in DRDO and we are working in DFRL. Uh, in last couple of years we have been able to work with ISRO and then we have collaborated with them and then we have uh, come into an understanding, uh, MOU has been signed and there are cer certain technological challenges that as I said, uh, the zero gravity conditions in uh, uh, space makes us do some technological modifications for the packaging system. So what is the what you have from products in your hand? Kindly show yes, sir. what you have. So wh whereas it, uh, in a you know gravity condition like uh, in Earth, this are potable water. You can open the pa packet and then sip the water, or you can use bottles of water. Whereas in case of uh, uh, space conditions, you have to have a small modification. Where if, wherein you are using a straw. You have to close the straw, nip the straw in such a way that the liquid, leftover liquid doesn't escape into the space shuttle. So these type of technological modifications we are uh, incorporating. And wherever we are considering ready to eat foods also, when you require some amount of reconstitution, what we have to do is we have to push the water in, in a jet force because there is no gravity there. So we are making a hot water station which can push the water into the, all these packets so for is, what is ready this, to what eat. Is this? this is a vegetable palau packet, uh, uh, which is uh, required to you need to ha add hot water or dip it into hot water and then the food will be ready to eat. I, I, I remember it was food like this which you supplied to Rakesh Sharma yes, when sir. he flew in 1984. Yes. It was at that point when the DFRL, the laboratory in DRDO also gave food for Rakesh Sharma, India's first astronaut. Yes, sir, that's right. We were one of the pioneers who involved in that mission also. And now also we are participating in this mission. So we are working closely with uh, uh, ISRO with this. Uh, like we have shortlisted some of the products which they are likely to take. And in one of the missions which is going to happen in December 2020, so we'll be, I mean, ISRO will be sending the I mean, unmanned mission uh, 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 as a preliminary experiment under which we will be sending some of our packets also and then we will try to see the structural integrity of the products I mean, when they come back. So this is the type of uh, you know, experimentations we are planning and then ultimately we plan to have uh, three or four uh, astronauts sustaining on our food in uh, uh, high altitude I mean, uh, near earth uh, orbit. So it it only be vegetarian food? Uh, it will be both vegetarian and non-vegetarian foods. We will also have uh, beverages also in uh, like uh, coffee and tea we are planning to send. And then uh, so the different types of products will be included in this mission. Uh, how difficult is it to configure a product for use in zero gravity condition? Sir, as I already said, it's a, basically a technological challenge. To Our main aim and concern should be not to uh, allow any of the food particles to escape from the uh, I mean from the container where it is made to the space shuttle so that's our primary concern now into the crew module yes crew module that's right sir so that is our primary concern so we have to make uh, very integrated products here I mean I when I say integrated that the integrity of the product should not be lost it should not be very brittle when you are trying to break it so these type of concerns we have so we have to use suitable binders for the products, maintaining the organoleptic properties of the products. So this I think is a challenge there for the... So, so, so you are hopeful of providing enough quality food for India's astronauts for Gaganyaan mission? Definitely sir, we will be doing that challenge, we will be uh, rising to that challenge and doing the work and then we are trying to include as many different types of products so that the astronauts are not you know, bored by the monotony of the products, we are trying to work it out and then we'll surely come out with some sort of a, a very good uh, solution for this problem. One thing which astronauts always want in space is crunchy green salad. Is there any solution for that? Uh, sir, uh, the, uh, the mission is going to be for a seven day period if I'm not wrong. 
it's a short time so we can still make uh, available the crunchy solids but then how it has to be carried then we have to do some sort of technological modifications for that we can surely provide because it's a short mission so it is very much possible sir but you are hopeful of meeting the 2022 deadline yes sir very much we'll do it so so that was dr jagannath part of the defense food research laboratory in mysore telling us that they are fully geared for meeting india's needs of food which will be needed by india's astronauts when they go up in the gaganyaan mission in bengaluru palav bagla